Yo, what's good, y'all? It's Prodigy Made It, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to grow long, healthy Afro hair, all right? There's a lot of different information, a lot of different misconceptions that you might be hearing on the internet, and today my goal is pretty much just to teach you guys right from wrong, all right? A lot of people don't want you to know the truth. A lot of people will be feeding you BS on, online about like hair, what you should do, all this different stuff. Um, and they don't really put, you know, they don't, they just don't want to give you the real tea. So this is the real tea. All right. So main thing I'm going to say is if your diet is crap, you're not going to grow your hair, right? If your diet is crap, it's not going to be good. So make sure you pretty much fix your diet, eat healthy, eat right. You'll be straight, good to go. All right. Let's move on from that. Now, one thing I'm really seeing, and the funny thing is, this really ties in, it kind of ties into, um, it ties into facial hair too. Now, I'm not going to be teaching you guys how to grow a beard, but for those of you who are trying to learn how to grow a beard, this is actually pretty important because have you ever noticed how you'll see like some people with like really big beards, right? And um, it'll just like the outside part looks really transparent right? It kind of looks like really thin and transparent, whereas like the inside part, that part's like really dark and thick and full. The reason for that is they have what's known as split ends. Now, split ends, something you definitely do not want to have, and they don't just exist on your facial hair. They exist up here on your actual hair, you know what I'm saying? So with that being said, what you want to do is you want to get some scissors or like some shears, clip them johns off, and then that way you'll be good because split ends are actually keeping you from growing your full length of hair. They're basically dead um, hair strands and they're really dry and they prevent you from like really growing past that extent, you know, like you'll have that and you'll think, okay, you know, my hair is really full. And then you'll notice after some time, dang, you know, I've had my hair at like a certain length for an extended amount of time and like it's not going past that. The reason why is you need to get a trim like ASAP. So, and the issue right now, because we're talking about like today in 2020, you know what I'm saying? Everything's closed. Your barber shop may very well be closed. You may not be able to access a barber right now. So, the best thing you could do for yourself, even if you don't know how to do a lineup for yourself, you know, that's not extremely important. What you can do if you want to maintain the healthy afro is. Buy you some scissors, or I would prefer you buy some shears. Buy some good ones, all right? Buy some shears. Go into the mirror. Look very close. You're going to see some hair strands that are really thin. Like, I'm talking about really thin, like kind of transparent. Um, really make sure you see that. It's going to be dry, kind of. You're going to take at least one hand or take, like, a little group of it, stretch it all the way up so you don't end up <laughs> chopping off a lot of your hair, and then just snip it. Snip it. Keep going around, snip it. You know, if you don't have if you don't have one of those foldable mirrors inside your bathroom, um, and you just got like one that's just like regular, what you want to do is kind of do the same thing, but you need to buy a hand mirror. Face backwards on the hand mirror, look, you know what I'm saying. Try to find those spots, hold it, put the hand mirror down, snip it, snip it, snip it, and that way you'll make sure that you don't have any split ends. Split ends, breakage, those are some of the biggest reasons for why people end up having to chop their hair off. You know, I know you guys have probably seen on YouTube, like, okay, you know, big chop, the big chop had to start all over, all this stuff, you know, X, Y, Z, the third. Um, pretty much the reason for that is because of these split ends. So as long as you avoid those and you know how to, you know, dead that stuff, you know, before it really gets in there, you'll be straight. Um, other than that, you want to make sure, kind of like what I said earlier, you're eating right and healthy, eat food that um, promotes, you know, healthy blood flow to the scalp. So, you know, you want to eat foods with a lot of biotin inside it, like spinach, um, carrots, you can eat, uh, what else we got? You can eat salmon, salmon's good for you too. Um, if you're vegan, find some nice vegan options that are good for you there too, um, that contain biotin. Um, also make sure to consult a physician before you try to do that. 
I'm not going to advise you to take bouts and pills. You know, I'm not going to advise you to say to take that. You have to consult your doctor and all that other stuff. We don't want to get into that right now. But um, <laughs> just make sure you're eating stuff with biotin in there. Um, I got some other stuff that you can do, too, in order to bring, like, more blood flow to the scalp. But um, that's a huge gem. And I don't know if I want to drop that right now for you guys. So I'm going to save that for a later video. If you want to see that video, um, you want to know how to, you know, get your hair growing really fast, like faster than normal, then make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell and smash that like button. As far as um, water is concerned, I know you guys have already heard this stuff. You want to take water serious. I know a lot of people say on YouTube six to four bottles, four to six bottles of water a day. We ain't cutting that, man. We want to see progress. Like we want to see fast progress. So if you want to do that and you're really about this Afro life, you know what I'm saying? You got to get your eight to 10 bottles of water. I don't care how many times you got to use the bathroom, man. You want to get your eight to 10 bottles of water. If you do the math, eight bottles of water is equal to a gallon of water. And like scientifically, you're actually supposed to have a gallon of water a day. So if you want to stay healthy, you got to have that gallon. You cannot dip below eight bottles of water a day. And what I do is, right, I have my phone. What I do is I have a note app. And on my note app, it's called um, Color Note. No, this isn't, you know, a sponsor or nothing. Like, I got a note app. I don't know if y'all can see that. But, you know, it's um pretty much where I jot down different um, things that I can do. Like, I jot down how many bottles of water I've already, you know, um, had you know throughout the day so an easy way you can do it is two bottles of water in the morning two bottles of water in the afternoon two bottles of water in the evening and um, if you can't make it to 10 two bottles of water at night what I try to do is at least three you know morning three afternoon so on and so forth so you guys can you know be straight but yeah if you do that you'll notice like huge huge progress Absolutely huge progress. Um, just brings more hydration to the scalp and you'll be straight. Uh, as far as, oh yeah, another thing I didn't um, cover in my previous live stream. I know this stuff is new on this channel, these live streams, but you want to make sure you're sleeping right. You know, a lot of y'all probably stay till like 3 a.m. playing video games or watching YouTube videos or something, watching my videos, you know. Um, <laughs> you guys got to make sure you get a good amount of sleep, at least eight to nine hours of sleep, you know. Um, if you want, you could take naps, but, like, REM sleep is the best. REM sleep is the real sleep, you know, when you're going to bed to bed, you know. Um, so make sure you get as much sleep as possible. Make sure you start exercising so that you can um, – we'll get to exercising later. But, yeah, get enough sleep. Because most of the hair growth that happens for you, it happens overnight, like literally overnight. You got to be sleeping in order to have hair growth happen. You know, you know what I'm saying? So make sure you do that and you'll be good to go for that. Um, exercise, I'd say do, um, you can lift, um, mainly cardio um, will bring some, you know, blood flow, blood circulation to everywhere in your body, including the scalp. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, the face, if you want to go some facial hair. Um, also, exercise and boosts, you know, the testosterone levels. I can't talk testosterone levels. So, you know, that's going to really help your hair growth as well. Um, man, there's a lot of ways, man. It's like, there's a lot of ways that you can really do this. And it's sad that a lot of people on YouTube don't really just give you the information, you know. They're like, okay, you know, you got to do this. But then you can also do it this. It's like, I don't know. I feel like it's never straightforward. It's never like simplified, you know. Um, and it's usually some guy with like a giant afro that doesn't tell you how to start from like square one when you got like a low, low, low cut. Now, what I will say is for those of you who may have waves or you got like a basic low fresh cut, you know, Caesar, whatever and you want to start from scratch, you want to grow your hair out for the first time ever, and you're not quite sure how, if you want me to make a method for you guys for that, let me know in the comment section below. 
I will gladly make a video on that because I know even if you want to like if you got 360 waves right and you want to know how to switch from waves to an afro I will teach you how to do that just let me know but you gotta be subscribed you gotta smash that like button and you gotta check out my other videos but yeah man um, that's pretty much it for this one let me know if you guys like these tips if you guys like this video please make sure to like comment and if you're new to the channel subscribe Make sure to follow me on social media. My Instagram and Facebook are down below in the description. And make sure to smash that notification bell right next to the subscribe icon so you never miss a video from me. Watch out for some more live streams. I might be doing this more often. Depends on what you guys say. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys soon. Peace.